Welcome to Miss Amanda's Campfire Stories, quarantine style. So when you go camping, many times you take a backpack. A lot of times the backpack has clothes, your tent, food, water, um, maybe a flashlight, some bug spray, some other little things, maybe a game or two for you to play while you're camping. Um, matches, something to light the fire. Um, so this is a pillow. So we have to be safe. No fires inside. Um, but we gotta be safe. So that's a pillow. But I have my backpack. Or a backpack. Um, this one just has a blanket in it because I'm inside. But many times we do carry them. So today we're gonna read this story. It's called My Backpack. And it's by Eve Bunting and illustrated by Mary Ann Coca. Leffler. Tidal page. That's green, just like the grass. Mail. My pack. My backpack's big. My backpack's blue. The one I had was red. My backpack very neatly new. Grandma sent it in the mail. She bought it at the garage sale. She says by now I'm big enough to fill it with important stuff. Did you guys hear some rhyming words there? Look, his backpack is blue. Miss Amanda does have a blue backpack when she goes camping. I'll put my teddy bear inside. He'll like a little backpack ride. You think I should put my teddy bear in my backpack? I've got a teddy bear on my backpack. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Here's my train. I'll take my blocks. I'll take my brother's baseball socks. I think I'll take his catcher's mitt. He keeps it soft with lots of spit. <laughs> My mother hangs her keys up high, but I can reach them if I try. I'll take a cookie and a spare, one for me and one for bear. There's lots of room. I could I could take more. Okay, I guess I could take four. That's a lot of cookies. You guys hearing those rhyming words? Four and more and room. Bear and spare. I didn't really have one. Pie and try. Dad leaves his glasses everywhere. I see them sitting on his chair. I'll put them carefully away. His glasses won't get lost today. Did you hear those words? He's putting them up. I like this tele television thing. You push it and it makes a ping. Cartoons come on and sometimes news. I think I'll take my mother's shoes. He's taking everybody's things but his own. Hold on. I'll take my kitty. And his dish. It smells a bit of, of last night's fish. I'll take the dustpan and the broom. No, not the broom. There isn't room. My backpack weighs an awful lot. All these important things I've got. What would you put in your backpack? Would you put all these things? I'll push the screen door, hold it wide. See kitty. See kitty, see. It's nice outside. When mom and dad see what I've done, they'll know they've, they'll have 
a clever son. He's learned so quickly. Mom will say he only got it yesterday. He's done all of that so quick. Mom, I've lost my catcher's mitt. Of course I've really looked for it. My socks have gone, that's what I said. Of course I've looked beneath the bed. I left my glasses on my chair. Now I can't find them anywhere. My shoes have vanished. They were here. How could they simply disappear? What else is missing? Look around. Don't bother, Mom. The burglar's found. <laughs> he took my keys. He took my socks. He took the television box. I've got my glasses. Here's my mitt. Oh, gross. He's added extra spit. Ugh. Here's one shoe. And here's the other. Say sorry to your mother. I know you didn't understand. Okay, okay, I'll hold your hand. Okay, okay, I'll carry you. I'll carry you and Kitty too. Make so sad. Grandma would be pleased to see my backpack all filled up with me. Have you ever ridden in somebody's backpack? Maybe your parents had one when you were little. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed my backpack. What goes in your backpack? What do you think you should carry to school with you when you go back? Love you.